So, I just went out on the wooden boat that I that I built myself, and I took a shovel and dug all these guys up, and I just put the shovel down into the mud, pulled the mud up onto the boat, put it into like a into like a funnel or like a sifter, sift them out, put took all the clams out, dumped in the rocks, and then I'm uh, and then yeah, I got a bunch of them. So. So, um, uh, yeah, this is a good amount of them. And yeah, these are freshwater clams or Asiatic clams. There's no size limit on them because they're invasive. They're an invasive species. They're not meant to be here. They're from like China or something. So I haven't seen, I saw one other guy cooking these on YouTube. So I think that this is a pretty cool tutorial. And also like most people do not live by the ocean, but do live near a river. And you don't even need, need a boat for these guys. You can just rake them in from shore. So just shovel and So I think that these clams would be a good thing to make a video about. Because more people can actually harvest these themselves. So I'm going to make a nice fried clam recipe and show you how I do it. Or I'm still trying to figure out the recipe, but I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So... Stay tuned. Here in the steamer pot, all seasoned. I just put in some of my specialty seasoning salt and also some some lares, some of this stuff, and I'm up. Now I'm just going. I'll put these guys in when it gets hot enough. But we're just gonna cook it on that grill over there, and I'm up. Yeah, I'll see you when this is heated up. There. So I'm going to take all my beautiful clams and yes we are making fried clams but you have to boil them before you fry them just going to dump them in here camera can you film this while i dump it i cold it down okay here nice clams all right so now we're just going to boil them for like 10 minutes and then they'll be um uh, they'll be ripe for the frying down in that that amount of flavored water stuff for about 25 minutes now so just check them they're done they all cracked open and they look really good so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna take them out now sorry if i'm not doing a good angle my cameraman cameron is playing on the xbox so i have to do it myself but oh, look at this See all that? Oh, look at all those guys. So what we're gonna do is just remove the meat from the inside of the clam, and then we'll um, uh, then we'll batter it, and we'll take all the the flavored water out of here, and put in oil, and then we'll put the battered clam meat into the oil, and we'll have some nice like flavored crunchy little clams and oh did i mention that this is thanksgiving and these are a thanksgiving dish for me yeah but i spent like two hours getting these so i want to want to make them taste nice so yeah i'll i'm gonna get back to you when i'm separating the meat from the, the shells here now what they do in like new orleans and louisiana is they just dump them out into newspaper Newspaper doesn't even really exist anymore due to the internet, so I just have a paper bag that I cut up. And I'm just gonna dump all these guys out on here. Make it authentic. They smell like seasoning salt. But what we're doing here is we're just picking out that little piece of meat in there. And we're just gonna put them into this bowl. Put the shells into here. We'll go take the shells back to the river, dump them into the river for crawfish to live in or something. And them up. Then we'll we'll put some flour in here. We'll batter them all. Then we'll put them into some hot oil and make fried clams. So I'm uh, get so back. I here made my own beer. So I shocked like all the clams. That's only one fourth of the clam shells. I had so many. I had to go dump them over there though. So I made my own beer batter. I got panko breadcrumbs some flour and then i got all this different seasoning in there i got the this seasoning that seasoning 
that seasoning and that seasoning and then i'm uh here i just put them all into flour and panko added some beer to make it a beer batter or wet batter and i'm just going to put them on my shucked clams now i'm just going to mix them around in it and now going to go deep fry them. My clams here in the batter, and I'm just going to put them into this fry oil that I made. It has butter, Crisco, pig lard, and olive oil in it. So I'm going to fry them in that. Okay. And then, and then I'm going to um, uh, show you once they're done. Just extracted the clams from the batter. Here's what they look like. I'm going to do a taste test with my family and see if they like it or do not like try, it. Um, uh, some fried clams. Fried you want to try clams. a fried clam? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. All right. You made this? Yeah, I caught them out of the river. Oh, thank right. you. All right. Wow. I didn't just make that up just because I'm being recorded. They're delicious. <laughs> thank you. Oh, they're so yummy. Mm. Where did you find them? Um, out of the river. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And the River best... clams. I didn't even know we had clams here. <laughs> I caught them on my, my wooden boat that I built. But... That's so awesome. Yeah. So, they're good. <laughs> no, they're not mussels. They're Asiatic clams. You got time. Yeah. Grandfather's going to try one. See what he thinks about it. Oh, I can't do Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it good? Yeah, see? They are good. I'm not just making it up. Alright, so this is the end of a successful video. And, yeah, that went pretty well. They they tasted good, but they were, like, kind of a lot of work for not a lot of clams. That's, that's the problem with these guys, is they're so tiny, it takes forever to get them, and you can't, um, uh, you can't, like, get enough actual meat off of them to actually feed anyone. So, if I wanted to cook them again, which I might, I would um, uh, probably make a soup out of them, like a clam chowder, so you wouldn't just be eating the clams. So, yeah, it was a good video. I mean, they tasted good. It's just a lot of work for not a lot of meat, but what, would I do that recipe again? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not, but I will try other recipes, and I'm also going to make a video of my going more in depth about how I actually catch the clams and how I use my wooden boat that I built. Should have made a video of me building the wooden boat, but that was before I had a YouTube channel, so that's a problem. But yeah, I'm just gonna make a video of me catching the clams, show you guys how to catch them, and hope you go fishing, get outside and do something. Goodbye.